Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Like our winter weather is going to be deleted this week as well. Look at our week at a glance. The wind will pick up today. That's kind of one of our headlines for the next couple of days, along with the warmth, right? The warmth really will reach its peak tomorrow, and then we'll see a slow decline in those temperatures, leading to maybe a chance of showers in the Treasure Valley for the weekend. Maybe even some light mountain snow, not completely out of the question for Saturday or Sunday. But as far as our temperatures go, really not looking all that bad, especially today and tomorrow. We'll stay in the mid 60s. Lots of sunshine today, some more clouds tomorrow along with that wind. And then we kind of just have an up and down pattern coming at us. We'll see that dip over the weekend with the cooler air coming in right back up to the 60s early next week, then back down to about average as well. So kind of up and down, but nothing too drastic or dramatic here as far as those temperature changes go. It has been a little bit dramatic across the the Pacific Northwest in a good way, I would imagine. Seattle yesterday hit 76 degrees, shattering the record of 70. The forecast high for today in Seattle, 74. The record high for today, 63 degrees. That's the record. The normal is about the mid 50s, so about 20 degrees above average. So more record shattering warmth across the Pacific Northwest. We are nowhere near records here, but it will still be absolutely beautiful with abundant sunshine as that big old ridge of high pressure continues to dominate our weather. But here's going to start making some changes for us. There's a storm system that will start sneaking by to our south. It won't do much except to kind of encroach on our ridge. It will send a little bit of cloud cover our direction over the next couple of days. It may also by Thursday send a couple of showers, maybe late Wednesday and early Thursday, send a couple of showers along the Idaho Nevada border, but it will also create some gusty winds. So we'll have high pressure to our north, low pressure sneaking by to our south. We'll be sandwiched right in between and that wind will just be kind of funneled between those two systems. So we do expect some very gusty winds to set in. We're talking 30 mile per hour gusts possible. Here's a look at what happens in the next couple of days. So mild weather will continue. We'll still be relatively warm through Friday, but here's that weekend system coming in. It will drop our temperatures into the 50s and usher in a very slim chance of some showers, maybe late Saturday into early Sunday across the Treasure Valley, and it could also bring just some very light mountain snow. The snow level will drop to about 4,000 feet over the weekend, but before that, look at the work week we have ahead, of, have ahead of us. Temperatures today won't change all that much. We saw 49 in McCall, for instance, yesterday. We'll see 50 there today. We saw 62 or 63 in Boise. We'll We'll see 64 today. It'll be that wind that will feel different, but it'll still be gorgeous. If you don't have outdoor plans, make some. Just send the kids out to the backyard, right? Spring starts tomorrow on a lovely note, 65 degrees with some wind, mostly cloudy to wrap up the work week, and then those temperatures slowly start dropping until we hit the mid 50s over the weekend with that chance of showers Sunday morning. But then right back to 63 degrees early next week.